Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to math class today. We're going to be working on perimeter. So make sure you have your paper and some pencil and let's get started. All right. So the first thing we have is a picture of our covered area on our playground. So we are going to measure the length on both sides. I'm going to do this. It's a little bit cumbersome. We have I'm going to have a yardstick with me. So you can see that this is all the way to four. And then if I count the jumps here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eighths, four and seven eighths of an inch. Okay. And that means because opposite sides are the same, that this side is also four and seven eighths. All right, there we go. This is five and this is five. So it's really close to a perfect square, but just a little bit off. All right, so to find perimeter, we add all the sides. So if we wanted to figure out how long this would be, and you know, this is just a model. So I measured it in inches. So we would have to actually use the yardstick, right? Or a tape measure and measure around the actual one to see what it would be in feet. Okay, so to find perimeter, we add all the sides. So I'm gonna start here. And this side is five. So I'm just going to drag my highlighter right across that. And I'm gonna write a five right here. And then I'm going to come down and then four and seven eighths. So I'm going to do four and then seven eighths over here and a five here. So I write them down and then another four and seven eighths. And I'll write it down four and seven eighths. So I'm going to go ahead and just add my whole numbers here first. I see a 10 and I see an eight, 10 plus eight is 18. And then I'm gonna think about seven eighths plus seven eighths. Well, seven over eight plus seven eighths. If we have seven parts and seven parts, that means we have 14 parts in all, in all and they come in groups of eight. So I can make this into a mixed number, which we've just learned about that on our fraction unit. So I'm gonna take 14, eighths and I'm going to think about that. I don't have quite enough room right here so I think I'll move it up like this. So if I have 14 eighths that would be the same as 8 over 8 and then 8 plus 8 is 16 so 8 plus 6 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 is 14 eighths. So eight over eight is equal to one whole, and then six eighths. So I can look down here, I can add one and six eighths, plus the number, the whole number 18. So my total perimeter, what is 18 plus one? 19 and six eighths inches. Okay. So to find perimeter, you simply add all the sides. Now, if you have an irregular shape that looks maybe something like this, let's sketch something out here, and let's say that this side is 12, and we have a 4 here and 8 here, then if this whole line is 12, then opposite sides are the same on a rectangle, and all we've done is pushed this line a little farther, farther, sorry, my southern starts to come out, than this side. So four plus how many more is equal to 12? Well, easily we can use our fact family. 12 minus four is eight. So this line is equal to eight. Now this shape is obviously not drawn to scale because here, it's not quite the same, but just go with me, okay? 
So opposite side is, opposite sides are the same. So this line is eight, then that means this line and this line have to be eight. So we're actually not given enough information because I should have written one more number down here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and split this up evenly, four and four. All right, so we have eight, four and four, eight, four and 12. So in order for us to find the perimeter of this irregular shape, we just add all the sides. So grab a marker here. And this time, instead of drawing the line, I think I'll circle as I list them. So here's 12 and four, eight and four, eight, and I'm all the way back around, but I missed one. I missed this line right here. So make sure all numbers are circled. And then I'm gonna add all these together. And so I see a lot of 12s. Do you see a lot of 12s? Here's a 12, and here's a 12, and here's a 12. So thinking about multiplication, 12 times three is 36. And, because there's my three 12s, now I'm just gonna add plus four. And so the perimeter is 40. So in order to figure out the perimeter of this shape, I just added all of the sides. Remember in rectangles, opposite sides are the same, even on irregular. It's just like pushing that line out, okay? All right, friends, I hope you have a great day, learn a lot, and finish all of your work so you can go outside and enjoy some sunshine. Bye for now.